Good morning. Thanks for joining me today for week five of our 12 weeks of Christmas. So I'm really excited about this one. This one uses our, we're going to be using the Very Cute. I'm actually using the designer series paper and the punch. Um, yeah, and then I brought in, let me see which one it was. I'm bringing in Marius Trees for the love and joy. Okay. We just want to be able to stamp that when we're done. So I'm just going to put it on our little block there and set it to the side. Okay, so first up, your first thing you're going to need is you need a piece of, this is a half a sheet. I'm going to set this up here. This is a half a sheet of balmy blue. Okay. And I am going to use my die, I'm bringing my machine, cut and boss machine. Okay, so we're going to lay our machine the platform down. Then we're going to lay our cardstock down. I and line this up at the top. Okay, and then we're just going to run this through. This isn't a me. I made these for my stamp club girls, but not in a fall theme. So you can do whatever you want. Um, okay, let's move all this out, get rid of this. I forgot I have to cut my banner, so I need to bring my cut and a boss back. Okay, so we're going to need a piece of basic white, and we're just taking one of the little banner strips, and we're going to cut one out. Okay. There we go. Now everything is ready and cut. Okay, so these are, I'm going to put my stuff back on the magnet sheet. So you can see all the dies you get with this. It's called the Cracker and Treat Box. So you have this piece of balmy blue left over. So you can use this for another project punch or something like that. And then we have our banner that we're going to use. Okay, so now what we're going to do is bring in our bone folder and we're going to fold on all the score lines. Okay. Sorry, I'm just folding on all my score lines. Okay. So then I'm going to turn it over, and what I did was I cut five pieces, and one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six, so the, the top one is not going to get any. Then you're going to take the five pieces, I thought I miscounted, but no, I got it. And you're just going to put adhesive on these strips. These strips measure, I thought I wrote it down. Okay, so these strips, it'll be on the blog post, but these strips measure two and three eighths by five eighths. Okay, sorry, I have to count it. Okay, so we are just using the snowflake paper on this one. I love this. This is the back of one of the designer series papers from um the berry or a, yeah berry christmas or something i think it's called okay so now we need our tear and tape which i have here okay i was like i know i have it here okay so we want the so this one is gonna we're gonna cover this so what we're doing is we're putting tear and tape on this top one Okay, so it's actually the bottom one. So the top one has no adhesive. So what I'm doing is I put my tear and tape on the bottom one. Okay. And we're just going to attach these two. Line it up and then press. Okay. 
And then I have two pieces of this Balmy Blue 3 8 Sparkle Ribbon. This right now is on back order until October 23rd. As of the time I'm recording this video. This is on back order, was on back order. It should be back in stock by the time this video goes live, but it may not be. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this a little short. But So what I'm going to do is just tie this ribbon in a knot. And it clo and it, by doing that, it closes this off, okay? So then I have these Tootsie Rolls. I got these, my son got these at Dollar General because I needed something that would fit in this. And he found these Tootsie Rolls. And I love a good Tootsie Roll. So we did Tootsie Rolls for, I'm putting a Tootsie Roll in there. And then we're going to close this side up with the ribbon also. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I just trim that off. So my punch will line, I need my punch to line up with this bear in the designer series paper. Okay. And I'm just going to punch him out. Okay. And then I have a label here that we're going to stamp in balmy blue love and joy okay so we're gonna stamp love and joy perfect okay so i used adhesive for both of these i just put adhesive on the love and joy and then across the middle of the bear so i'm going to put the bear all right here on the kind of like on the front and then right here behind it i'm going to put the love and joy Okay, isn't that adorable? You can cut your tails on these shorter if you want. I like them a little bit long and then people can untie them, eat the candy. You could, you know, they could throw it away, or refill it, whatever. But these are our very cute cracker treat boxes and they are for week five of our 12 weeks of Christmas. So to stay tuned for next week, um, for week six, and if you have any questions, let me know. The measurements for everything are on my blog today with the blog coordinating blog post. So thank you for joining me today.